Well guys, alright, our next job is to save the princess, so let's chop chop. Holy shit! Alright, uh, because Goran doesn't have a shield, he's gonna be, uh, his, his unarmed damage is gonna be off the charts. But he's also gonna have no evasion. So let's see how long he lasts. Completely disposable because he's gonna leave uh, midway to the dungeon anyway. So it's not even as if I could use him as an extra body for inside the dungeon. I'm gonna meeting up with some pretty dangerous monsters now. So let's see how how this goes. Ant lions and chimeras are the most common in this region. And there we go, back of four ant lions. Corn's probably dead. <laughs> Wow, they're not able to hit us, eh? Each of these things has like 400 HP and lots of defense. There we go. So Gordon survived all of two fights. Gus got an evasion level and Maria is like almost on par with oh god she's overtaken uh, fairy in terms of HP oh well I forgot to grind up a Suna oh man I'm gonna pay for it I'm gonna pay big time now we need a Suna at level 5 because we're gonna start running into enemies uh, who, who, who have petrification spells Oh boy. Well, if I can somehow make it through with or without saves coming uh, today, by by next time I'll definitely have Esuna after level 5. The other guys can still keep their Esuna at level 1, that's fine. Den of the enemy. Alright, let's take on the behemoth. Standard boss strats. Curse him. Optionally put him to sleep. I'm not gonna bother putting him to sleep. This guy is not too dangerous. He does hit about as hard as the Gigas though. Preemptive, okay. He scores him. Two hits, and he wasn't cursed. Seriously, getting unlucky. Uh, uh, nah, no, it's not really unlucky. <coughs> For some reason, it's just not working. Oh, never mind. He doesn't even hit as hard as the Gigas. Still not cursed. 
got about 1600 HP. Still not first. Jesus Christ. Five hits and still not first. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish him off without uh, cursing him at all. We have decent DPS and we're getting crits every now and then. <laughs> oh well. It all worked out, I guess. And Gus got a sword skill level, hopefully that'll uh, make him suck less. Put him in jail. The funniest part about this scene is that that soldier did not bother looking uh, around the corner. He went right to the last tile and that's it. He stopped right there. Alright. Do I have to pick up any items? There, there, is a, there is a cottage and an elixir here. Which I normally do pick up. But who cares. Alright, we're going to be meeting up with some really dangerous monsters here. Gordon, this is where Gordon leaves, so I didn't bother equipping him and I will put down a memo save right after this. Wow, I was pretty lucky not to get an encounter until now. Wraiths? Chimera, actually not bad, not bad. I can do some extra damage with the wing blade. So this should be pretty uh, easily handled. Seriously? Man, that blaze hurts. Imagine if they ambushed us and all of them spammed blaze. That's what? That's that's like the worst case scenario that's supposed to happen in the boss fight back in Dist. I did gain some HP, so I will like to save that. Because as I said, you never know when you're when you're gonna die here. Parasites, okay. These guys are good for uh, if they actually manage to hit us. They're also good for uh, MP growth because they'll absorb a percentage of your MP with every hit. There you go. She oh, she only lost five MP. This is a ridiculously low percentage. I was expecting something like 15 MP to be lost. Would have given... Uh, would have had a good chance of get, get, getting an MP up then. But it's all good. And Fury and Soul Scream improves that. You know what? Now that... Now that these guys are getting a pretty good in their sword skill levels, I will transfer the sleep player, the crescent blade, over to Firion, so that uh, we can have two guys using status swords. Yeah, let's see how that works out. No encounter! Dude, I got really lucky.
That could not have gone better. Let's head back to Altair. It's time for the invasion of Finn. What do we have? Just a Sandray. These guys can also appear in really large groups and I think uh, these guys are even beefier than the antlions. I think uh, like 500 HP or something. One last encounter before we leave this place. Three sand rays. Oh, please don't paralyze. Ah, uh, okay. At least he snapped out of it. Look at how much damage they're doing. Come on. I need to get rid of them. Furion's evasion increase, no? Okay. Thinking of uh, transferring Maria over to the sword as well, but uh, now that I'm now that I'm thinking about it, our next weapon upgrade is just going to be the flame lance, which we can buy in Syria. So probably I should give everyone their demon spear back. Small optimization here: we are going to the other side of Altair. Because uh, once we are done with the events in Altair, uh, or rather Finn, we're going to be heading to Mysteria, so it's a trip due south from where we'll be talking. Yeah, seriously, I think uh, I should have them use uh, lances for the time being. Our next sword is gonna be well, quite a quite a while later. So we got one demon spear, and that's it. Just got one. I see. So someone's gonna have to use the blade until we get to Missy, eh? Well, it's uh, not too far away, so that's fine. Spear level 583, sword level 6, yeah, so we'll, we'll keep it at 6 for the time being. We'll work on his spear level. Spear level 7 Maria, nice! Actually, she could do with some sword levels, but for now, yeah, I just keep her on the spear. She's doing good damage. Spear level 6 and sword level 6 as well. It's got sword level 6. That's fine. Might as well quickly heal up, we, we lost a little bit of MP. Actually never mind, once we liberate Finn, uh, we'll, get, we'll get access to some healing anyway. Alright, 
Let's let's have Layla join again. And I believe she should have all of her stuff equipped. Mr. Shield, Mango, uh, yeah, she's got all her stuff equipped. And now, uh, on top of that, she's also fully healed. So I didn't have to bother about that. Oh wow! The next, immediately the next tile was the encounter. And it is, wa oh yeah, Warlocks are fine. For a minute, I thought it was sorcerers. Berserk and stun. Uh, I don't really care about the cash, so no thanks. Nor do I want berserk or stun. Berserk is one of the most broken spells in this game, so I usually outlaw it for pretty much all of my challenge runs. Alright, standard fare for a boss fight. Let's have Firion also participate with Status Sword. So you can put him to sleep. So far, uh, the strategy of cursing them hasn't really worked too well. But I still continue to hold out. Oh look, he, he was immediately cursed. But did he go to sleep? Nope. He was the path is fine. Given enough time, this guy can really mess things up. About 2000 HP, and we are moving through at a very fast pace. You're still asleep, okay? Yeah, I'll be down like this round, maybe next round. There we go. So, this is how it's actually supposed to work. Fuck this one, don't care. That's basically preserved. So Finn has been liberated. Yeah. Okay, we got Ekmet OS. Let's just quickly loot the castle. Actually, I don't really care about looting per se. I care more about the monster in a box encounters just to get that 100% boss rating. Alright, let's get the trivial one. Let's get the trivial one out of the way first. So we just got a revenant, a couple revenants, and a wraith. And it was a preemptor, so these guys are toast. And <laughs> we got a potion for that, by the way. What a troll. This one is far more valuable, but it's also a much more dangerous encounter. Or rather, it could be a much more dangerous one. It depends on how many sergeants there are and how many sorcerers are. Look at this! Yeah! <laughs> the sorcerers can generally really uh, bring on the pain. Drain 8. Okay, so they didn't use anything dangerous this turn. So the ide ideal is to just uh, kill them off as quickly as possible. But when you've got uh, sergeants in the middle acting as meat shields, obviously it takes a couple turns to get through to them. For all rewards, cold plate and mithril hand are interested. And for that, we get the aura book, which I'm just gonna sell. Yeah, I think, uh... Hmm. 
Yeah, you know what? We'll get the white mask today. Uh, yeah, let's quickly heal up. Finally, the shop here has opened up. What do they have for sale? I think just wing swords. I don't really care. Oh yeah, they have the Titan's helm. I'll be interested in that later on. Sell for 7,000 bucks. Okay. Let's head into Finn Basements. Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me get some better equipment here. Quartz play or whatever it's called. What is it called? Uh, gold, yeah, gold plate. Yeah, we get gold plate for everyone. It's a direct upgrade to a silver plate. And with zero weight penalties. Oh, we have the ruby. Right, right, right. I visited uh, the Black Mask Village, didn't I? It's a plus five defense upgrade and it does not affect uh, the weight. Or rather, evasion. Okay, I think you know, we'll just sell off uh, the ruby plates. And as far as weapons are concerned, I think it, they only have a wing blade, trident. Do they have a mangosh? Werebane, okay, so it's this class of weapons. Already we've got uh, better weapons. So let's head into the fin. Oh man, please don't block. Thank you. Our next objective is to get the white mask. Hmm, you know what? We'll do that next time. Yeah, it's a... I mean, it's a straightforward dungeon, but I, I can't really calculate how, how much time it will take. So that's where we're going to end uh, today. Later, guys.